Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about things that happened this week in anime history. Um, starting with March 1st, 1970, a certain character, no spoilers, in the manga Tomorrow's Joe, or Shino no Joe, passed away in the manga. And so over 700 people attended a mock public funeral for this character, presided over by a priest. For a manga. A fictional character. Fictional character. People mourned. Yeah, pe people mourned in public as a whole thing. And, and then because of it, they sold many more issues of that manga. <laughs> here's marketing. The, it's all marketing. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Like, you know, this is pre-Flash Mob, pre-Internet. Like, how do you organize a thing like this? Like, my goodness, this must have been... I, I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. Well, doing that one like that. Ad, ad guy that's just like, hey, look, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. You're going to kill off this character, so we're going to do this. But we got to find, we got to get, we got to either find or get a monk drunk. And <laughs> yeah. do the ceremony. So, and like, yeah. have everybody at Shonen Jump get all of their families, and we'll get all the printing people, and we'll get them all together. <laughs> and then we'll be like, oh, it's a surprise funeral. <laughs> this will trick them all. <laughs> Um, so, that's so, true, Becca. I, I I would do. I, so I was just I was just thinking about like you know what if what if like Charlie Brown died, <laughs> right? Would it be would it be closed or open casket? What do you think? <laughs> wow, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. I'm gone. I, I'm done. Done. <laughs> Charlie Brown goes to kick the football one more time. <laughs> In heaven, uh, Lucy never takes the ball away. There we go. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, okay, yeah, so. I'm like, what do you do now after that comment? <laughs> what anime character would you attend a funeral of? Oh. Um, considering my visceral reaction to, mm. to Maze Hughes dying in, in uh, FMA, probably, mm, probably okay. that. I was so upset with that character, that, mm. and and that's in the the the, the first FMA mm. series that, that came up. Um, I, gosh, yeah, I, I um, Ein. Mm. Mm hmm Yep. Ein. Yep. That would do it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's many I would attend, but the one that I would have to be like drug out of because I would be un mm. inconsolable Nagisa Furukawa from uh, Klonad oh okay Okay. yeah Nagisa's death like mm. I just I couldn't stop bawling mm. <laughs> it's mm. like so that would probably be the one where I'd have to be removed but mm. like gosh there's so many that have passed and so many that I've, I've shed tears over but that's yeah. probably I, the one I, I cried the worst mm -hmm. I, I just had an image of you of uh of screaming, I'm never going to leave you, and jump again after the coffin. <laughs> well, the big problem with that, Steve, would be oh, like yeah. on, a, on a flat screen in the front. I'd be like, oh, Nagisa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sir, please keep your face off of the screen. <laughs> jeez. I think I broke my nose. <laughs> I, I don't know why this j jumped to mind, but the first character that jumped to mind is Gould Goa Bowman. You know? Honorable death. Yeah. Respectful. Respected, you know. Like, I want to honor what he did. I, and I, again, I don't know why that why that's the first one. Hmm. Um, other than that... Oh, easy. Spoiler alert. Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Yeah. Oh, no. That, that, Wolfwood. I changed my answer. No, mm -hmm. that one. Really? Yeah. 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 You haven't seen Dragon, ah. right? I've seen bits and pieces of okay. it. That okay. is a lot. Yeah. Um, Adult Swim and stuff. Yeah. You'll understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was a rough oh, one. I, I, you know what? I blocked that out of my mind. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Took me a while to get there. <laughs> um, uh, so, <laughs> speaking of tomorrow's Joe. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now we've um, moved on to funerals. Uh, let's move on to something else. Um, young one night? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Um, um, oh, um, and non anime, Tepe. Um, 
Yeah, John knows what I'm talking about. Um, uh, moving on to 1985, March 2nd, the premiere of Zeta Gundam, the oh. second Ooh. Gundam TV series. Um, notable because back in that day, anime generally, especially original anime, generally did not get sequels. So the fact that Gundam was big enough to warrant a full 50-episode sequel series was definitely a head-turner. Um, and uh, the, the budget differences were also very much a head-turner. Uh, <laughs> my gosh, that show. Um, and, uh, the yeah. of plastic model kits being produced mm. went from many to whole crap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> from, from many to they're not stopping. They're yeah. not stopping. <laughs> We need more trucks. Yeah. From from petrochemical derived plastics, equaling X to X times X. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my. Where's um, all this plastic going? Yeah. Just wait. We'll show you. <laughs> Many little Have boys. Have you a thing called gun plot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will. You will. Uh, um, and also notable for the fact that Zeta Gundam obviously was has a very dark and kind of controversial tone to it um so taking kind of a you know even when you had sequels in the past it's like okay yeah but it's the exact same thing like we're gonna get just that again um yeah. and so saying okay gundam has a trajectory and we, we you know there are things things are gonna happen in gundam which that's true um so that was cool um two days later in america robotech premiered Yep. Um, which is kind of crazy to me uh, when you consider that, like, Macross came out, what, three years earlier? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, you know, these were recent anime series that yeah. they adapted in um, and made, made work into Robotech. For those not familiar, Robotech combines. Um, we, we joke Macross, about the, the, the Tenchi Moyo things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring, down, yeah. bring down the chart. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Well, at least it, it, it's only those three. So it's yes, Macross, it's true. <laughs> Southern, Southern Cross, and um, Genesis Climber. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's like it could have gotten worse. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted it to. Um, yeah. But I mean, on, it, on it all, think about for three years after Macross premiered, mm -hmm. Harmony Gold managed to crank out something that yeah. was at least cohesive absolutely you know yeah, what i mean yeah. it was not like jarringly yeah. disjointed like what did yeah. you people try and glue together it's like no they made it absolutely not entirely super super but it, it was a followable story absolutely. gosh knows we consumed the crap out of yeah. it <laughs> yeah they i believe they had eight months that was their turnaround <sighs> time for robotech yes which is insane Ow. Yeah. Um, for, yeah. From like all the all the material like coming into the office. Okay, now we have all of the the tapes and so forth to premiere. Jeez, that's nuts. And like yeah. they 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 built new technology for that. Um, right. They they built a, a machine that would allow them to change the frame rate. Um, because you know sometimes anime is so choppy with the, the different frame rates and so forth and so on. So they could right. slow it down to a percentile of a frame. At a time. Yeah. Wow. So it would go at, at 23.8 frames per second. And that would like just smooth out the animation like just right for what they tried to do. Yeah, it, it is nuts. I um, can't even imagine <laughs> trying to come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy. Yeah. So we come up with this technology, but we can't like find warp speed. <laughs> Where's my flying car? Where's Sorry. my jetpack? <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that's all the history for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, more history next week. <laughs>